So at about 3 p.m. today, it was brought to my attention that Mac Miller was going to be in Minneapolis tonight, so I quickly emailed his management. They actually emailed me back pretty fast, but only to say that um, the list like closed at 12 p.m. today, so they couldn't add any more media passes. And then for the next 10 minutes, I was just sitting in Starbucks, like, honestly just picturing the cool shots I could have gotten. And since I was already on uh, Mac's website, I looked at his next date, and it was tomorrow in Madison, Wisconsin, which is four hours away from me. So long story short, I got confirmed for Mac Miller tomorrow night in Madison, Wisconsin. So that's where I'm driving to tomorrow for four and a half hours by myself. And after the show ends at like probably 10:30, 11 or so, I'm driving back four and a half hours by myself that night because, because well, I have work at 6 a.m. the next morning. <laughs> And I would have had it, like, switched with someone later in the day who went into work at, like, 4 or 5 or something. But I'm shooting a concert again that night in Minneapolis. Alright, <clears throat> it's currently about 11.30. I'm about to head out. Um, I'm packing up my bag because I have to go to work, like, literally the next day. So I'm just packing, like, extra socks, some deodorant, perfume, so, like, I don't look like, you know, I just haven't slept. And I'm packing up all my camera gear. Also, important tip. If you're wearing all black, you must lint roll your life away. You should also carry a mini one of these. Trust me, people, you'll never know when you go over to someone's house and their pet just attacks you, you know? Plus, Mac Miller has a limp brush on tour, people. Probably. So, right now, I need to go to um, Walgreens. Made it to Walgreens. You're a little blurry. Hello. All right, guys. Road trip snacks. What are we getting? What are we getting? Far is ready for two. <gasps> That's my mom's name. Stuff is so good. We'll show up later. Also, we can't forget. So, next on the agenda is to get Muriel some food that won't make her fall asleep. And I think you know exactly where I'm going with this. Somewhere healthy, somewhere that has nutrients and proteins for my body, somewhere that, somewhere that is like, just the healthiest place I can get breakfast. Welcome McDonald's, this is Rena. Okay guys, made it to Madison, met up with my good pal Haley, getting some IHOP, having some fun. <laughs> You're gonna make this look so much better <laughs> You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh. Isn't that cool? Hey guys, had some time to kill, so uh, I brought my skateboard and now I'm gonna skateboard. Walking to the theater. Oh, 
It just got to have a concert. It's approximately 11 something. And this music is really loud. It's currently 11, 10 a.m. I have not slept yet. I literally, because I drank so much coffee yesterday, because I needed to stay awake for the drive home, I finally got home and probably, like, could have slept for two hours, but because of the four to six cups of coffee I consumed, my body would not let me sleep. It was the worst feeling ever. I was like, you know what? I made it home. I shot a very cool artist. It was a great night. So now I'm about to go home, sleep, and then I'm shooting a concert tonight with the band Wet, so stay tuned for that, people. Also, um, I'm wearing the same makeup as yesterday. I literally, like, slept in it, didn't do anything. Um, same outfit, um, so, yeah. might be wondering why I put myself through this. Driving eight hours in a day, no sleep, and endlessly working only to shoot the first three songs of a concert. It's the same reason those kids put themselves through dehydration and getting stabbed with elbows of strangers in the mosh pit, just for a chance to touch the hand of their favorite artist. Or why some musicians go on tour, spending days awake with no proper meals, ignoring the calls from loved ones because they're on stage or catching just an hour of sleep. We do it because it's the passion that drives us, because it makes us feel alive, and because we just can't picture ourselves doing anything but this. Aww.